Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today it's Pond Day. I've filled her up, she's holding water and I'm gonna tell you what we've done to walk you all through it all and we're gonna turn it on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me and let's crack on with the day. She is, she's a little bit green, I'm gonna tell you why in a sec. But so we've got, she's holding water. We did have a tiny, tiny little leak in the pipe work, but apart from that, she's holding solid. I'll give you a good look at her. So we've got, I've got a drain pipe there, so I can just open that up. I am in test mode, so I've just got like, I haven't properly wired anything or anything, we're running off extension leads and stuff. But apart from that, we're doing well. So we've got the pump in the bottom from our pond rescue the other day. We have our filter from the pond rescue and we have our plant from the pond rescue. I'll tell you what I'm doing with this in a second as well. It looks a bit crazy, but it's working like a treat. Here we green. Okay, so I've done a biological filter. So their filter that at the pond we went to was just full of gravel so that was a meant to be a biological filter it works a lot better when you've got something in there actually eating everything and the size of a biological filter has to be massive con compared to a normal filter because it also it doesn't just collect the, the muck it has to also eat all of the muck as well so if we look here I am probably almost 50 filtering 50% of the water constantly. So my filter, sorry, is almost 50% volume of the pond. So I've got, it's massive. So it takes a while to fill up. It does drain it. I've got to top it up a bit more because it does drain a bunch if I try and fill it up. Um, <laughs> so in here is the big plant that is going to be eating all our nitrates, all our ammonias, anything that's bad. This is going to eat it all up and take it all away. So in theory, Pain in the bums, fella. So in theory, I shouldn't have to do any water changes. I shouldn't have to do nothing. It should completely cycle, almost like a wild pond and be perfect all the time. In theory, we've got to test all this out. First ever biological one I've ever done, but we're going to give it a go. Cool thing is today, because I think it's all ready, we can add fish to it today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So today, I'm going to, well, we've got to go to work. We catch some fishes at work. We'll bring them home and we can put some in today. So we need to turn it on, get it running. I'm going to top it up a little bit as well. I think Laura will do it while I'm at work today. So let's turn it on. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. So this is full of gravel as well. I've got a good amount of gravel in there. It's where all my good bacteria is going to live. And then we've got the plant as well, which is going to be sucking up all those nasties and taking them all away from me. So hopefully we should be good. And now I've worked out as well, we need free outlets. This pump is so powerful, but I don't have free outlets going at full velocity all the time, it overflows. So I have to be very careful about blocking, anything blocking these up, because it will overflow. So I've got to work with something on that. I need an emergency overflow thing where it can disperse back into the pond if these get blocked, because they are going to get blocked, because there's roots and stuff that are going to slowly make their way down. I have got a piece of wood in there, I can show you now. So that is keeping everything at bay at the moment. Oh, we're going. Look at that. We do have some velocity. I have to admit, we do have some velocity. And look at how much water it's dropped already. <clears throat> so we'll be topping it up. I have got some chemicals to put in to help get rid of all the green. It's going to be green because I left some of the good bacteria in the filter because it was good bacteria. So we needed some. Uh, so that's gone in there. So it has made it a little bit. So I will put some. I did put some chemicals in yesterday that cleared it all off, but I've messed with the messed with it today. So I've released a bunch of it again. So it might be clean by the time we get back. We never know. But if not, I can put some more chemicals in, and then we can get some more fishes. But the velocity is going to be good. We've got no, plenty of air. But it's whether it's going to disrupt the fishes too much. I can shorten these down, so then it's only going to there. And it's going to be the first half of the pond to get it. But I do like the staggered water. I do like that. I think it's really cool. It's not finished. I've still got to clad it all. So it's all going to be nice and cladded in wood. Once we get it all dialed in completely. So we have our extremely powerful pump sat at the bottom doing its job. Pumping like the clappers. Then it goes along this pipe down to the UV light. Isn't plugged in. 
haven't checked if it's working, still got to do all that. Gonna have to definitely buy a new bulb, I know that for a fact. That then goes down up to here where we have a little droopy drip which we never had before. Go away. Fixed it. Yeah, baby. And it's just the excess drip. It's okay. I fixed it. I fixed it. That's it. That's it. We're done. I fixed it. I fixed it. So it's just old joint. I'll be putting new seals in and stuff like that. This is just a test run, really. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's things like that we can fix in the fly as we go when and when and needed. Woohoo! Next bit, we go to the shop. I'll pick some fishies. We bring them down. I might take some water as well to test. But it's going to be spotless. Apart from that, let's crack on. Woohoo! Ba ba At the end of the day, we're in the shop. We can pick the fishies to take home for the pond. Whoop, 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 whoop. So, I was going to be and put some fish that I actually want to keep in there for the long haul. A bit nervous just because it's just started. So, I think what I'm going to do, we're just going to take some little goldfishes, and then if they do well, then I'll bring the higher end fish that I actually want to keep. I'll show you the ones that I want, and then um, I'll show you the ones we're going to take. So I wanted some of the shabunkins, that's what I wanted. So there's one just, oh, there's one down there. Oh, I'll get, try and get a better shot of them when they come round. We'll see, we'll see when they come. Oh, so there's one over there. Uh, would it help if I put the light on? It might do. Better, so it's that one there. I've been wanting. And, oh, that's not right. There we go. And where's the other one? It's covered in loads of black dots here. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, he's going back underneath again. Oh, he's coming over. He's coming over. There he is. Look at him. That shabunkin and that shabunkin I want to take. That will be the second lot of fish I put in. And then if they all do okay, that's when we'll start moving the little baby koi that we're gonna be growing for our big pond. That is the plan. So, fish we're actually gonna be taking are rescue fish that have been brought to me from Kidderminster Fair. So we've got one, two, three little goldfishes that we can take today, and I think that's gonna do us really well. There we go, my first fishies ready for the pond. So they're perfect for the pond. They're not going to be too big, so the bio load isn't going to be massive. And they're nice and little as well, so they shouldn't stress out too much. I think they're going to be loving that pond outside. So there we go. Let's take them home, straight home, and put them in the pond. Just as I thought. She's crystal clear, everything's all come out gravy. Look at that. So we're plonking them in now, let them acclimate, then we release them. Got me and Bebo out with the fishies. What do you think? Do you like the fishies? Yeah! Yeah, don't kick the pond, don't kick the pond. So we've got them acclimating at the moment. We've done water temperature acclimation. We're just doing water quality acclimation now. And then we're waiting for Noah to finish in the bath. And the fish to finish acclimating and then we can release them all as a family. That's the plan. <laughs> yeah. So the kids ended up doing a lot of it, but the fishies are in. Look at that. So I have had confirma confirmation that this is not going to affect them. The one just spent 10 minutes just in it, just chilling. So I'm happy that that's not going to be a problem. They're all going around, going in the roots and all that stuff for that plant now. There's a big root ball at the bottom of that. They can go in and chill around in. So yeah, I'm really happy with it all. We're doing really well. Just got to do a little bit of a top up. Go everybody 16 year old me would be proud it's still going 16 years later please like subscribe comment share ring the bell for me we are doing more builds i've got a big space there that needs another pond that's in the future that's going to be where we put big koi that's the future so please like subscribe comment share ring the bell for me apart from that i'll see you in the future bye